Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Naresh and today we are going to create this wonderful roadmap animation that can be used in any video which shows the process like in a stepwise manner or something like that. So let's jump in. Alright, so let's get started by creating a new composition. Let's call it master or whatever you want. Our usual HD size, but we will render it high quality 4K. Duration 10 seconds. Let's add another one and rename it a road. It will be of a custom size where the width is around 1600 and the height is around 2400. Now select the pen tool to add a curved line. Keep fill to none and stroke to solid orange FF to 500 to be precise or however you like. Draw a line like this and try to adjust the curve using the handle just like this. Now increase the width to 90 pixel. Alright, select the shape, go to content, stroke and in the stroke change the line cap from butt cap to round cap so that it will have this rounded end. Now duplicate the shape layer using command or control plus D and the change the stroke cap to butt cap and color to white and width to 20 pixel. Alright, now let us add the icon. It is square, so let us make it round using the ellipse tool and draw a shape over this image while holding the shift key. So it will be a round shape. Adjust the mask as per the image. Precompose and rename it as the icon. Open it, add a new white solid and place it behind the image. Adjust the image size and position as per the look you want. Even you can play with the blending mode for the image. Now duplicate this icon comp in the project folder 3 more times and change the images so that we will have a total 4 icons. So this is how we can convert square shapes to round. Ok now move this icon here at the beginning of the road and adjust its size and position. Repeat the same process for the rest of the three icons. Use a round mask to make them round and place them appropriately on the line. Alright, so this road is ready with the four icons in it. Please note that you can convert this icon to 3D and then place them vertically using the X axis. And by changing their anchor point, and animate their scale. You can also add the drop shadow to them as they are placed vertically on the road. It's up to you to use your creativity. The project file I have provided has the second version. Alright, now go to master, add this road comb to it and convert it to 3D. Now at around 2 seconds or more, open the road composition and save this icon here, making room for the initial path anyways. Now let us add the grid to it. So right click and add a new black solid. Change the order to last. Adding a grid effect to it. Chain to width and height sliders. Convert it to 3D and chain to two views. Moving the grid layer slightly backward. Play with the slider for the height and width. And we will change it after the final animation also. Play with the opacity and bring it down to around 10 so it will create a subtle background. We will also change it one more time after the final animation. 
right click and add a new camera 35 m right click and add a new null object convert it to 3d and parent camera to null select null and press p on the keyboard while holding the shift key press r for the rotation parameter now at the start add keyframes to all the parameters now select the orientation and change this first value so it will flatten the road comp like the real road in three dimensions. Ok now give a slight initial rotation using the Z rotation value. Also play with the Y position in position parameter to set the initial view for the road. Using the last value in the position parameters is the Z value to zoom in or out. Also let's scale the grid. Now move your playhead just before the icon appears. Change the rotation to minus 6 or minus 8. Also add slight zoom. Select all the keyframes and press F9 for easy ease. So this is how it will look. Now we don't want this middle line during the initial 2 second animation. So go to road comp and move the second shape layer here. Select the first shape and add the glow effect. This is an easy step. Play with the radius and intensity however you want to keep. You can even use the deep glow plugin if you have one. Alright move just a few frames forward and from the road comp move these icons except the first. Now use the position and set the position of the first icon with the road like this. Use x, y and z axis values. Don't worry about the grid. Change height and width to 20 for now. Move your playhead to further 6 seconds. So add 8 seconds in the timeline. Now change the y axis value to bring the other end of the road map. Change this rotation here to 0 and add this initial frame here also. Now add this initial keyframe, open road composition, select the second shape layer and add trim path from the add menu. Go to trim paths and select end and add the initial keyframe and change the value to 0. Change it back to 100 at the 8 second. Let us also add a glow effect to it. Alright, now let's animate the icons one by one as the path gets animated. So go to road comp and here at 5 or 6 frames, press T on the keyboard to add the opacity keyframe. Come at the beginning and change it to 0. Select both the keyframes and press F9 for easy ease and change the speed graph like this. Ok, it is little bit early so let us move it here. We can also increase the time. Alright, that is it. We can move it slightly. Now here in this position, we can animate the second icon using opacity. Note that you can also animate the scale if you want. Ok, so copy the opacity keyframes from the first icon and paste it to the second icon. Repeat the same for the rest of the icons in the road comp. Alright, let's play. If you think it is fast, just spread the keyframes further. Alright, for the last part, we will create a new comp part 2. Duplicate master comp and add it to part 2 comp. Trim it over here and move it to the beginning. Also open it and delete the last keyframe on the null object. Adjust the icon and road composition in the center. And add text to it. Change font position however you like and then add animation preset fed up characters from here. Press U to reveal keyframes and you can make animation fast or slow and even you can change the exit point it should begin. Also add the glow effect to our text. 
Now also add a glow effect to the icon. Chain to alpha channel. Increase the radius and from the top. Copy it and paste it to other icon. Now duplicate the road comp in the project here. Make sure you have selected original road composition and drop this composition road tool over it while holding the option or alt key to replace it. Open road tool and switch off the shape layer tool. Alright, now add this part to comp to the master and change the layer position in the time. Now select and pre-compose these layers. Trim it over here. Play it. Right click and add a new adjustment layer. Double click and add new elliptical mask and add a Gaussian blur effect and increase the value. Invert the mask and bring up the feather value. Add another adjustment layer and add the vignette effect. Let us change the master comp duration to 15 seconds. Add a new adjustment layer and add a posterized time effect. Change the value to 12. Go to pre comp and select road. Press P on the keyboard for the position and click on the stopwatch icon while holding the option or alt key. This will open an expression window and type a wiggle expression with values of 1 and 10. This will give a subtle movement in our road comp. Alright, it is almost final and we can bump the opacity of the grid layer as it is barely visible. We can also bring down the line thickness by changing this value of border to 2. And do the same in part 2 comp also. Our animation is ready to render. You can animate icons using the scale property. You can add particles overlay. You can use turbulent displacement on the shape layers or the icon. You can bring about the variation in this animation using your creative. So see you in the next one. Till then keep practicing and be creative. Bye bye.